हाई फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल तो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी वन मोर इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन इन रियक्ट जेस दैट इज ऑटो सेव इन रियक्ट जेस सो जस्ट कंसिडर वी हैव इनपुट बॉक्स और एनी टेक्सट एरिया एंड देन यूल टाइप समथिंग देर एंड देन इट इज ऑटोमेटिकली गेटिंग सेव्ड इन द डेटा बेस विदाउट क्लिकिंग एनी सबमिट बटन और एनी बटन सो जस्ट कंसिडर वी आर यूजिंग एक्सेल एंड देन वी राइट समथिंग इन दैट box and then it will automatically get saved into the database or uh, on back end so that's how we are going to uh, build the same functionality in react js so here in this uh, tutorial you will learn how debouncing works so we use debouncing and throttling to uh, optimize our uh, uh, that uh, react js uh, application performance so uh, here you learn how debouncing and throttling work and then how we Uh, use this uh, advanced concept in a uh, real project so let's see uh, so very first uh, i'll create one text area so we'll have one text area there will uh, type something uh, any comments and then that should automatically get saved uh, into that backend so as of now we are using local storage here to save the data yeah let's see so i have created text area i'm making it little bit bigger so i'll give that up i'm passing the necessary properties yeah, so uh we got this text area and then what i'll do is i'll create one more uh, one uh, state variable to hold the value of the uh, text initial value i'll give empty what i'll do is here i'll have a uh, I'll, i'll pass this value is equal to comment and then i'll write on change event here only on change and then we will set whatever the value we are getting it from uh, user uh, user type e dot target dot value yeah we'll get value from here uh sorry we have to do it we have to set in set comment okay so let's see uh, are we getting correct value we'll just try to put in console the comment and check hi this is yeah uh we're getting value from here so what we'll do is uh, whenever we type uh, that value then that should get automatically uh, saved into the uh, local storage so whenever i refresh here it is not persisting the value it is like uh, setting as uh, this is empty uh, empty string so now what we'll do is we'll write one use effect so and there what we'll do whenever this command get change that set it to local storage so we'll have one local storage dot set item and then we'll pass key as a comment and then we'll pass this comment value so whatever we are getting it from text area yeah let's see uh is this getting saved in local storage or not so i'm typing i so we got the key comments and value is high so it is updating on every character hi this is so now uh, when uh, if we observe this uh, it is getting updated on every character so just consider if you have a real uh, api and then uh, we are uh, sending this and then we are firing api uh, on the back end on the basis of this uh, Uh, input values so it will fire the multiple api so how so uh, the length of this character is suppose consider is 20 so it will fire the api 20 times so for, for this one we use the debouncing but later uh, i'll i'll show later in the video so now if i refresh it that value is not persisting so what we can do is we can write one more use effect when uh, we refresh or component mount then that should get value from local storage 
so what i'll do is i gave empty dependency array here because i want to uh, run that only once when we refresh or when we come uh, first time on this uh, page so I, what i'll do is let comment so this value this, so this comment and this comment is different so this as of now i give this variable then local storage dot get item and then i'll pass the key here so whatever the key we are setting it same key i'm passing it so if if is there any value inside the local storage that uh, will get the value and will get in comment so what i'll do is if comment if value is there then what i'll do is set comment comment same value from the local storage let's see hi this is gajanan take up so that value got updated in the local storage now i'll refresh it yeah see uh when when i refresh this uh same value i'm getting it so it means that our auto save is working uh, as expected so i'll close this one and then let's see now i'll type hi this is my first block see i saved so it, that that value got uh, stored into the local storage when i refresh still i am getting the same value i'll put into the next see i'm getting the same value it means it is getting saved automatically whenever user type something but here we got one issue so uh, suppose consider uh, here in this use effect if we have a real api uh, that is going to fire in the back end and that is taking value uh, uh, this input value as a payload so that will get fired on every character so suppose this uh, this sentence have uh, 20 characters so that api will get fired on 20 times so that is big issue uh, that will hamper our uh, application performance so for this one what we'll do is we can use debouncing and throttling so uh, so uh, what is the debouncing is so whenever user type and then user continuously type without stopping uh, for some second that second we uh, that time we define in our logic so consider one second so whenever user stop like till one like for one second that time only api will get fired so now i have continuously types so for this the our logic is debouncing logic is uh, what does debouncing mean is so we have to hold till a user stop typing for one second for two seconds any any time that we define that time only api will get api should get fired so these these are the very common logic so many uh, flipkart amazon companies use to search their products so whenever we type something in their search box it will it will uh, not fire the api on every character it will stop for some time the same thing uh, we will uh, cover here uh, we'll have the logic so what i'll do is i'll for this one i'll create one set timeout let timer equal to set timeout and then i'll give this uh, update comment logic here inside this then here i'll give one second thousand millisecond and now what i'll do is i'll clear the timeout i'll show you how this work return and then uh, clear timeout this timer now we'll go to the uh, local storage I'll, I now what I'll do is I'll continuously type hi this is Gajanan so now you observe that 
the value is not getting updated on every character so whenever users stop for one second at that time only it is getting fired just observe this i am just removing yes i'll remove hi this is yeah see it is not getting fired on every character it means uh, if we have any real api then uh, it will fire only one api so now i'll type after one second a got fired right i have stopped now a got fired right so it will stop for one second so this one second we define here so how much times we want to stop so now what's happening here is whenever user type something and then it is getting updated here uh, so this comment is getting changed uh, this effect is getting run and then inside the timer this set timeout functions is getting assigned so timer have this set timeout function and that have logic of updating stores so now we are uh, so this will execute after one second but before one second only uh, we are a typing second character from here so what we will do is if we type second character then it is re-rendering this our uh, components and then here one thing is before re-rendering this return callback will get fired uh, get run so in that timeout this timeout will get clear this one so it will vanish that uh, set timeout functions and then again it is set uh, it is uh, setting new set timeout for one second and then it, it's uh, it's happen on every character and this way if we stop for one second this one will get uh, execute then this one without uh, clearing this timeout and then it is setting our current comment value so this is how debouncing work so it's very efficient way to avoid a, a multiple api call to handle so it will increase our application performance as well so this is how debouncing work then what i'll do is i'll uh, create one more state variable that uh, we will have the status is typing or saved so there you'll get clear uh, idea on this one i'll write one more state here and then uh, initially i want to give saved and then whenever we uh, type something then i want to set it typing and then uh, it, if if that values get saved then i want to uh, change it for saved again saved so set status is equal to saved same uh, what uh, we are giving default then what we'll do is here so what i will do is i want to write if uh, status is equal to uh, if status is equal to saved then uh, I have to give this uh, check symbol and then if not if it is typing then I can give this and then later uh, I will provide here status whatever the status we are uh, updating it from here so let's see so currently we have saved i'll remove uh, so see this typing now i'll type i this is i stop it got saved i'll continuously type if i continuously type anything it it won't fire or uh, saved uh, this one uh, to that uh, back end so it will continuously wait till user stop typing now i'll stopped i have stopped so now it got fired so this is how uh debouncing work and then uh throttling also same way uh so it will wait for one second uh, on every uh, so if user continuously types so it will fire uh, api call on every one second so that's also uh, you if you change a uh, small logic then uh that will also have the same uh like concept behind the optimizing uh, our application performance so this is how we uh, create 
auto save functionality in react.js and this is like very common so uh, we can use in real life projects so if you get this uh, type of functionality even in your project so you must uh, use this uh, use debouncing uh, concept there to optimize our react.js application so i hope if you understood this video and then uh, if you like then please share and subscribe to my channel and then if you have any comment regarding this uh, this concept then please uh, put in the comments i'll check on this one thank you